Okay, this question is a little on the tricky side. So what you really need to realize is this, f of x is equal to c times a to the x. You're gonna treat this as a black box. If I give you any x I want, then there's a value of f of x coming out. That's what those points are for. Okay, so using those points, you're gonna set up two equations, and from the two equations, you should be able to solve for the constant a and constant c. All right, so let's get started. Let's use the first one, um, f of four. So if I plug f of four in there, this is, means this is x equal to four, then I have equal to 0 0.9492, um, which also equal to c times a to the fourth. Okay, so here's my first equation here. Second equation, I'm gonna do the same thing. Now this time I'm gonna do uh, c of x equal to two. And this one is equal to 1.6875. So here's my second equation. Two equations, two unknowns. Here's your first equation. Here's your second equation. If you were to divide first equation over second equation, what you'll have is C gets canceled, right? So C A to the fourth divided by C A squared is equal to 0 0.9492 divided by 1.6875. C cancels, this one becomes A squared is equal to whatever this number is. And from there, all you have to do is take a radical root, right? And then this one A is equal to radical root of 0 0.9498 divided by 1.6875. From here, you can go back to the equation that earlier you had 0 0.9492 is equal to C times A to the fourth. And from here, you can solve for C. So the trick is that uh, recognize you're looking for two variables in the two equations. And I, I typically leave till this way to find the numerical value so that I don't make any errors in between. All right, have a confident day.